Uh, thanks a lot for taking a moment with me. I will just uh, briefly try to give you a feel for what was going on in my brain as I put these three images uh, together. Uh, first of all, I'll just say I wanted to use gouache paint, which is essentially an opaque watercolor. It's easy to use at home, uh, which is nice during the pandemic uh, when these were made. Uh, and as a medium, it feels a little bit more like drawing than oil paint does, which is what I usually paint with. Uh, creatively, my goal was to use my experience as a parent to represent moments of love for a child. In other words, as a child grows up, they have all kinds of experiences that shape them, uh, both good and bad, positive and negative. I'm using symbols to represent these little narratives from the perspective of a parent. So in Burning Fuselage, uh, this is all about uh, support for a child in the midst of a problem. So I've got stained glass, uh, which represents a safe uh, place of rest. Uh, there's human bones high in the picture plane, which represent the child. And then all these little balls are uh, shrapnel from a landmine. So the idea uh, with the shrapnel is that I, as a parent, I have walked the path already. I know what it's like. I know what the outcomes are, uh, good or bad. Uh, and it's because of this that I can really support the child. I can lift them up, provide comfort, et cetera. In Catacomb Ecosystem, there's a catacomb wall. Specifically, this one is from the Passage Grave in New Grange, Ireland. Uh, then there's a shell and the honeybees. So this is about how a parent uh, will have their child's best interests in mind always under all circumstances. Uh, the catacomb wall, uh, catacomb is uh, obviously a, a place where you bury the dead, but not just any dead. This is where you bury uh, people you respect and appreciate. Uh, so this is a representative of the respect and appreciation that a child will garner for a parent over the course of a lifetime. Uh, the bees represent the experiences in general terms, uh, either good or bad. Bees have a vital role in the ecosystem, so they're good. They're vital, in fact, uh, but they sting, which hurts. So children um, often see them as being scary or bad. So uh, any kind of rough experience uh, that a child goes through, um, may feel bad or not good, but ultimately may be a good thing. Finally, in Hidden Runners, uh, there's divining crystals and vines in front of this coarse uh, brown fabric, which is a cloak or a hood or a veil or whatever. And we can see the inside of it. You can see the scene there. Um, so this is about a child's search for meaning or how a child might behave in an attempt to either please or uh, more uh, aptly in this painting, rebel against a parent. I went a little classical here. Um, I was thinking about how certain behaviors at certain times uh, that might have gone against the mainstream uh, might have been called divination. So I've got divining crystals. Uh, this is sort of representative of the child's rebellion. Uh, then the vines, as they grow, they swing around and look for something to latch onto. Um, this, uh, and it's all behind this sort of veil or cloak. It's all hidden, um, not seen by others. So I know these are a little esoteric, uh, but I think with the descriptions, you're able to see what I was thinking and hopefully uh, you found it interesting. So uh, that's all, uh, I appreciate your time.